Good morning and welcome to Bloody Coast Detects, I detect in Cumbria. Uh, Chris isn't with me today, Chris has gone or, or has had a better offer. Um, so he's gone off on his own with uh, a mate of his. Chris is selling his dais so they've gone to have a little play and uh, see if the guy wants a dais or not. So he did say he would do some footage for me which hopefully will and I'll include it in this video. Uh, I've been driving around for an hour trying to find somewhere to go and I've ended up on my castle field which is a nice permission we've had some good finds on here but we have picked over it so I'm having oh, I've just seen a deer in the background um, let's see if I can get that <laughs> distracted so yeah I'm going to uh, try my best to pick out what we've left in the past okay so I'll show you what I find on my first dig so firstly I'll tell you that I am um, on the dais, always on the dais, um, with the Ada new spade I've got and I've got an additional sticker of notched 11 and I'm very sorry carry on searching but I went out with yours in the rain and it rubbed off, <laughs> sorry. Um, but I do have another one. I'm searching in program two. I'll show you. Program two, G Max Power. Uh, I've had three digs so far. This is my fourth. Um, the first three were lead, and then there is this one. It's obviously broken off something, but I'm seeing something on there and possibly on there. Whether I'll be able to find out what it is, I do not know, but yeah, there's definitely something going on on there. So I'm searching really, really slow today because, as I say, we've been on here. We've had Roman Viking and um, I've had bits that are going to go to the flow on the 30th of this month. So yeah, I'm going to go slow and pick out what we've missed. This is an old site of a castle, they always call this the castle field. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it has produced all sorts. So keep going this slow, find out See if we can find anything. And the next one's a shotty cap. Um, as I say, I'm going slow and I am digging everything because I'm just picking out where we've been many, many times before to see if we've missed anything. And we did miss that, but uh, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Just a button, but as I explained, we're picking through what we've left behind. Deep. This was a deep one. No idea what it is, um, but it was all the way down to the bottom there. But I couldn't tell you what it is. Nope, it's like a tarpaulin ring, but it's possibly what it is. This one's 75, 70, dumping about a bit, but I have seen what it is and I can see silver down the hole. I haven't looked at it yet, I've just seen a glint of silver, so I'll take it down and we'll have a look. I'm sure if you can see that, it's just there. It's a hammered. I'll just clean this up a bit and we'll see what it is. Just trying to get focus, there we go. I'm no expert on hammered coins, but um, I can see that's a, I'm sure that's Charles. 
a couple of X's behind his head. And a Sith Thistle. So I com may be completely wrong, but uh, I will find out and we'll uh, talk about it later. Please just punch. Now I'm going to have to text Chris and tell him what sort of day I'm having. Find out what he's doing. Yes! Get in. I'm calling this a coin. I can't see anything on it, but I can't see a sh shank on it. So, yeah, I'm calling that a coin. Yeah, and just under the surface, just a little bullet. It's just come out. I have got the pin as well. I'll put the pin in my bag. Um, I would say it's just a bit of Victorian costume jewellery. I got the pin for a start. I thought that can't be an 80, that little old pin. And filled the hole in, looked around and it had dropped out. So yeah, it's been a brooch. I've seen toy cannons, but I've never seen one this small. That is tiny. Sure that, that is what it is, I'm sure. Never seen one so small. Maybe it isn't. Um, it's got a hole here. Hmm. Curious. Um, I may be completely wrong. I'll clean it up later and we'll have another look. My second one, well, the possibly, yeah, my third coin, um, Victoria, a young Victoria. Can't see the date. The next one is um, another part of a button. But this is all stuff we've missed in the past, and this is stuff I'm finding with going really slow. There's something down here. I've no idea what it is. Oh, it's got screws in it. I'll get it out. We'll see what it is. Oh. of a light switch. <laughs> so this is a 7980. There, so I'll dig that out and we'll see what it is. So I've got the top off. I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. A coin. Yeah, it's a ship half penny. I'm sat on the top of what Chris and I named Viking Hill. We named it Viking Hill because he found a Viking brooch yet to be uh, confirmed until we see the flow at the end of uh, this month, 30th. And I've just found this. I don't know whether that's a pin head. Very, oh sorry, very decorative. I don't know whether it's the top of a pin or not. I'll clean it up and come back to you. 
Yeah, so there it is, cleaned as much as I can do out on the field. Yeah, I'm not sure what that would be. This is an interesting piece. I thought it was a shotgun cartridge when I pulled it out. It's heavy, so I'm assuming it's lead. But the more I look at it, the more I keep thinking there's something... Maybe not. Maybe I'm just looking for something to be happening in here. Clean it up later. We'll get back to you on the uh, outro. I'll clean it up later and I'll show you at the end of the video. That's it. I'm done. I've just stood in a boggy hole and got a wet foot. Got sweat trickling in my eyes. That's stinging. Um, fines have slowed up a bit and uh, I think it's time to call it a day. It's so hot. Really, really hot. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head back to the car now. Uh, have my reserve drink, which I've got in the car on the way home and uh, get back and edit this and get it out as soon as possible. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, very much appreciated, um, as always. Um, thank you very much, and we'll see you on the next. Okay guys, I'm back home now. So as you can see, this is a selection of, of lead. Again, all quite small. Uh, as I mentioned several times in the video, I'm, I was just picking out things that we hadn't uh, found in previous trips out on them fields and we have been on there a lot and I will continue to go on those. You also saw me dig out this, I think you'd call that baker light, um, light switch. As you can see it's got Crabtree patent number British made. This really got me going because this was an 80 signal and this pin was all I could find. There's no way that um, that's caused an 80 signal. Filled the hole in and went all around the grass and this had dropped out and I hadn't seen it. So yeah, that's part of a, well, I don't know whether you call it a brooch or not because it's not a pin as such. It's, it's almost like material would slide down between the two. Uh, yeah, that, still don't know what this is, it's, it's no great age, I don't think, but was very deep. Cartridge, uh, lots of other bits of rubbishy bits, but again, all very small. Three buttons and the bullet and a parasol umbrella slide. And then on to the better finds. This, I still don't know what it is. I thought I could see something on there when I found it. But yeah, that probably should have been in the in the lead scrap. Uh, the toy cannon, which is a toy cannon, but I've never had one so small. There's a ship half penny. 1939. Couldn't get a date on this one, but it is Victoria, where's she gone, there she is, so it's Victoria, it's a little, I think that's a pinhead, this one I claimed as a coin, but I can't get anything off it. And this one, I did say on the field, I thought there was something on it. I do believe that it's part of a Robert Rake's Sunday School token. I've had one before and, uh, yeah, there's, there's a, I can't, I don't think you can see it from here. There's a picture of a lady or a gentleman on there and I'm almost sure that's what it is. And then, of course, there was the little hammered coin which is a Charles I Scottish 20 pence 